All right, now you can now send uh, your views to the by, uh, bipartisan committee through its uh, technical uh, committee. Now, the committee today uh, invited submissions of memorandum uh, from the public for the next 10 days on the uh, five key issues uh, before that particular committee. Gladys Mungai has more details on this. The 10 member bipartisan committee on Friday embarked on public participation exercise inviting Kenyans to submit their views on five issues before the committee. The call coming barely 48 hours after the Senate in a special sitting on Tuesday endorsed the establishment of the committee. The committee says the public can now present written submissions via email, social media, or drop them physically at their offices. For the announcement for receipt of memoranda from uh, stakeholders and from Kenyans is already out. And we do expect that in the next few days, uh, Kenyans will be submitting their memoranda to the National Dialogue Committee. Our technical team and our secretariat will be working the whole of next week to allow them time to receive this memoranda from the members of the public. As they also put together the issues as prioritized uh, for discussion by the National Dialogue Committee that will be reconvening again on the 11th of September. We will not shy away from receiving any memoranda, but only that we will have to interrogate and the technical teams will be able to interrogate the memoranda as received. And then we'll be able to see as a committee what to do with those memoranda. You have seen other fora where people are saying there's a constitutional moment. These are Kenyans talking, all right? And others are saying their things. We, we, we are a collective as a nation. In its sittings, the committee will prioritize streamlining of the electoral body IEBC and auditing of the service. The issue of IEBC, uh, Kenyans understanding the urgency of that matter, the issues to do with the outstanding constitutional issues under Article 43 of the Constitution, the issue of the political parties' uh, uh, management in the country, if you look at it, uh, IBC is number two. So that we look at all the issues around electoral justice, including IBC, because of the urgency of, of the matter. Other issues that the committee will address include outstanding constitutional matters, such as implementation of two-thirds gender rule, the cost of living, fidelity to political parties and coalitions, entrenching political party funds into the constitution, and the establishment of state offices, among them the official leader of the opposition office, as well as the office of the prime cabinet secretary. The committee is expected to take a break from its sittings next week for members to attend the Africa Climate Summit before resuming the talks on Monday, 11th of September, 2023. For Easy Friday, I'm Gladys Mongai.